The Pentagon will send nearly 3,000 more American troops to Eastern Europe in the coming days amid a tense standoff with Russia over Ukraine. The United States will soon move additional forces to Romania, Poland, and Germany. Defense Department spokesperson John Kirby said the troops were not going to fight in Ukraine, emphasizing they are going to ensure the robust defense of our NATO allies. The deployments are above and beyond the 8,500 troops the Pentagon put on alert last month to be ready to deploy to Europe if needed. And the moves aim to reassure jittery NATO allies nervously watching a massive Russian military buildup near Ukraine while avoiding new deployments to Ukraine itself. Our commitment to NATO, Article 5, and collective defense remains ironclad. Efforts to reach a diplomatic solution have faltered in recent weeks with Western countries describing Russia's main security demands as non-starters and Moscow showing no signs of backing down. Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke about the Ukraine crisis publicly on Tuesday for the first time this year. In his remarks, Putin laid out a worldview in which Russia was the victim, not the aggressor, and that Washington was trying to lure Moscow into war. His biggest objective here is, is Ukraine back into the Russian sphere of influence. And the only way he's going to do that is uh, through military means. His calculation is, can he get away with it? Alexander Vindman is a retired U.S. Army lieutenant colonel and former director of European affairs for the U.S. National Security Council. He told Reuters the U.S. was doing the right thing in bolstering NATO and signaling Russia would pay a price for any aggression. But he said the moves might be too late. Part of my re remaining criticism with the U.S. approach right now is that it's all contingent and reactionary based on what Russia does. We could have done more. We're doing a, a pretty exceptional job now uh, later in the game uh, but I think it's I think unfortunately uh, the die may have been cast. The Pentagon said it had not ruled out further troop deployments.